Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when your iPhone force restart is not working. When your iPhone is frozen, stuck or glitching, doing a force restart is the easiest way to save the device. But occasionally, things don't go as planned, and your iPhone won't force restart. You press the buttons even for minutes but the device won't do anything. No power off slider shows up. The iPhone is neither shutting off nor showing the Apple logo to reboot. If this is your case, don't panic. We'll explain the causes of the iPhone force restart not working issue and show you what to do. What causes your iPhone not to force restart? When you press the buttons but your iPhone won't let you force it to restart, the most common reason is that you attempt the wrong button combination. If the battery power is low, iPhone force restart doesn't work either. Software issues like outdated iOS software, misconfigured settings, or malware are also possible causes. In rare cases, force restart not working on iPhone can be due to hardware issues like broken buttons, damaged screen, liquid damage and so on. Thankfully, you can get your device booting and running again on your own. So here's how to fix iPhone force restart not working. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Make sure you force restart an iPhone correctly. iPhones have special button combinations to do a hard reboot. The combo varies depending on different iPhone models. When you can't force restart an iPhone, you may not be pressing the buttons in the right sequence. So, it is worth attempting the process correctly again by following the steps here. To force restart an iPhone 8 or later iPhone models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. To force restart an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. To force restart an iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Now, see if you manage to force reboot your iPhone and get it out of the issue. Charge iPhone for 30 minutes and try again. You should give this method a try if your iPhone battery is lower than 20%. An iPhone won't hard restart if it detects that the power isn't enough to let it shut down, refresh the system and reboot. So, use the charger and lightning cable that came with your phone to plug it into a wall power. Make sure your iPhone is charged properly and wait at least 30 minutes. Then, attempt the instructions in solution 1 again and see if your iPhone force restarts normally this time. See if you turn on press side button for Siri. Press the button to force restart your iPhone but only activate Siri? It's possible that you've enabled the feature named press side button for Siri on your device. It could somehow cause the iPhone force reboot to not work. To check it out, go to the settings app if you can. Find Siri and tap. Now, look for the press side button for Siri and see if it's on. If yes, just toggle it off and then do a forced restart on your iPhone again. Make sure your iPhone runs the latest iOS version. Running an old iOS software could lead to multiple problems. One of them is that the iPhone force restart does not work. The solution here is to do an update. If you still can access your phone and it responds to touch, then you can update the device through the settings app. Open the settings app. Tap on general. Choose software update. Your iPhone will start checking if there's an update available. If there is, it'll prompt you to download and install an update to upgrade the iOS system. Just press the download and install option. Finish the on-screen instructions to trigger the update process to start. If your iPhone is stuck, try the next solution to update the device. Update or factory reset iPhone using recovery mode. Another way to do an iOS update when your iPhone won't force reboot and it's frozen is to go through recovery mode. You'll need a PC or a Mac. Then, download iTunes or Finder on the computer and open the application. Now, use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. 
Now, when you see this dialog box in your computer, choose the update option first. It will not delete everything on your device. Finish the on-screen instructions and wait for the process to complete. Maybe one hour, maybe three hours. Thereafter, wait for your device to boot up. In case an update fails and you still can't force a restart on iPhone, it often indicates that there's a more serious problem on the system or the content on your device. This is hard to pinpoint the exact place where the bugs or malware exist. So, the only choice is to do a factory reset. This can ensure that the operating system is new, the file is new, and the apps are new, too. Unlike doing an update, a reset will lead to data loss. If you don't have backups and you don't want to lose data, then, ask Apple for help. If you have backups, just repeat the steps before to enter recovery mode again and then use iTunes or Finder to do a restore. Head to the Apple Store close to you. If Force Restart is still not working on iPhone after doing a factory reset, it can be assumed that the problem is related to the hardware components. As for hardware issues, it takes time and requires enough expertise on mobile tech to determine the cause. So, you'd better seek the help of professionals on the Apple Store near you. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix iPhone Force Restart not working. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.